Hello, I'm Loon June, and in today's video, I'll be showing you the best and the fastest way to quickly get legendaries when you were first starting out the game. This is all based upon my opinion, and I think most people will agree to it. A quick disclaimer though, there is no way of earning a specific legendary dice other than the ones from their own individual boxes. I see people all the time asking me how to get yin yang dice, how to get combo dice, how to get lunar dice, but no, you just simply cannot get a specific dice in this game. It is mostly all RNG based on what you are getting and that is it. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit the like button and subscribe for more quality content. By far the worst way to mainly earn legendaries, however it is still possible. Card boxes all have 1% chance of having a legendary dice inside it. I myself have some experience on these and it is always surprising when it does happen. However, the chances are mostly low and that 1% doesn't feel like 1% at all sometimes. So this isn't the best way, but more like a passive way to slowly get legendaries as you are grinding coins or gems. I'm not saying this is bad, but you can't mainly be using card boxes as your main way to get legendary dice. That will be way too slow. Card boxes should be used as some sort of resource collection chest where you get the necessary resources to use in the shop. Speaking of shop, let's get into the next best way of earning legendary dice. Shop refresh slash shop is another way of earning legendaries. This is where I earn the most and what I prefer using. There are three types of legendary related items purchasable in the shop. A legendary dice for 40,000 gold, a legendary chest for 500 gems, and a legendary ore for 1200 gems. By far, the most free to play friendly is the 40,000 gold legendary that sometimes appears in the shop. Again, this is all RNG based and sometimes you might not get any legendary in the shop for months. Yes, that has happened to me before and it sucks. The second option is the 500 gem boxes. These are pretty nice and these are what I buy the most. These are way more efficient at collecting legendary dice than the king's chest. Let's just say you bought the king's legacy for 2500 gems. That means one legendary plus a bit of gold plus a bit of dice that doesn't really matter equals 2500 gems. However, if you use your save gems on the 500 gem boxes, you are getting one random legendary dice for 500 gems. This is far more efficient, actually 5 times more efficient, and don't even get me started on the birth and death chests. And finally, there is the legendary ore shortened as leg ore. Now it's highly unlikely that any free to play casual player will buy this item. And why is that? It's cause it costs a whopping 1200 gems instead of 500. This is the most precious of them all, and I definitely see why it's at a high price. And the leg ore barely appears in the shop and the golden class shop. Also, all of these items will appear more and often in higher classes than lower classes. Random Arena, which I will be referring to as RA, is by far the best way to grind for legendary dice. The reason behind it is, the rewards are just better than any other regular chests, and at 12 wins, you get a guaranteed legendary dice. You can get a bit more legendaries with the earlier chests, but it is again by chance. Although this is the best way of earning legendary dice, there is a downside to this method. One is that you need to get 12 wins for the guaranteed legendary. Two, you need to know the game a lot and also have good RNG for dice picks. Three, random arena costs 100 gems by default and one random arena ticket which is sold in the shop with gold. If you are a skilled and lucky player that doesn't worry about costs, getting legendary dice is very easy. But without those three being a thing, it is quite difficult still. I personally don't play the game mode a lot, so I cannot give you guys massive tips that will give you the advantage over your opponents. But one thing is for sure, random growth is OP. I have seen free to play players using random arena as a means to grind legendary dice and get better specs than anyone else. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed. If you guys want me to make a random arena guide in the future, leave a comment saying you would like to. Stay safe everyone, and bye bye.